Yes, YouTube, what's happening? We're now here at London Olympia, just having a coffee. I've got my chip, I've got my weighted vest. We're about to run the High Rocks wearing a vest. We're gonna be the only people in the UK to be running at a 10 kilo vest. The world record stands at the moment around one hour eight. I'm going for one hour seven. Let's go. We've arrived. We're at London Olympia. All we're going to do now is get into the venue and get started. I've got my magic juice. I've got ready behind the camera. What more do I need? Vest. Let's go. Huh? Are you on the picture? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I've had my pre-race shit. I'm ready to rock and roll. It's always this point when you go to a race where you're thinking your heart's pounding and you're raring to go. You're thinking, how am I going to perform on the day? I'm feeling good though. I'm feeling like I'm going to perform well. I've had a couple of days off the gym. I'm feeling ready. One of the first guys, well, the first guy in the UK to wear one of the Goruk vests. So I want to perform well. I want to show these guys how this shit's done. So this is my third time. I've done two doubles. Yeah, I've done two doubles. This is my first open. The open's going to be wearing the vest. It's always, am I going to perform? Have I trained hard enough? Because I always want to perform at a high level no matter what. One, I need to go to the toilet before a race. Two, make sure you drink the magic juice. And three, perform highly. Perform very well. When the race starts, so it's another level. So when the race starts, you get a bit carried away sometimes. I've noticed with High Rocks, when the first wave of people go, you get stuck and you start running at their pace. But today I'm gonna stick to a pace, which is gonna be around a 4.45 to a five minute kilometer, and then just settle into it and get it smashed. I'm really confident today. Yes, guys, I'm here with Amber Rado. Amber runs a show over in High Rocks. I am the marketing manager. So we run all of the event here today. It's a sick venue and Farron is going to be running in a 10 kilo vest. Ready to absolutely rock and roll. How's it? It looks great, doesn't it? What time is your mate on? Uh, I want to say 12.20. Is that he? That's what I want, 12.20. Oh, you same one? Is it 12.20 as well? Yeah. I'm buzzing for a minute. Yeah, do it. I'll see you after. We've got um, 28 minutes till we start. Warm up area now. I'm going to do a little 10 minute warm up and then get down to the start line. Then 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off on the ski for five minutes. Then I'll do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off on the rower. Same running a little lap, 30 seconds on, just nice and comfortable. Maybe have a little go on the sled, even though I'm really confident with the sled. And then get down to it, get down to the start line. Magic juice, caged hydro charge. A little bit of mobility in the warm up area. I'm about to go start now. It's 10 past, so we've got 10 minutes to get down there. Get down there nice and fresh. I'm feeling really good. Uh, and then whack the vest on, obviously, and then get it done. I'll see you on the other side.
go fans, let's go. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on! Let's go fast, come on! Come on fast! Let's go fast, come on! Let's go fast, let's go, come on mate. Let's go fast. Last 25, come on. We have muscles, guns in the air. Baron Morgan, what a swing, Warren.
Rock smashed. Burpees fucking killed me, man. Oh, it's just, it's honest, mate, it was just because of flat bit of steel, it was just in the fucking. Oh, mate, it was just this bang, bang. What did you get on? Oh, nice. Top time, man. Did you enjoy it? You're fucking buzzing round past me. Open. Wearing a 10 kilo go rock vest. That was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. It was about an hour and 23. Very tough. The burpees about killed me. Um, I really underestimated the burpees. The running was a lot slower than I thought it would be. The burpees really nailed me in this vest. But I'm happy I finished it. At one point I was in a bad way. We got it done. I was sick at the end. That means that I put in 100%. I had nothing else to give. Until next time, what we're going to do now is have a cool down, drink some water, maybe have a celebratory beer, we'll see. Just found out I've got a six minute penalty somewhere on the course. I'm not sure where it was though. I'm not sure if the penalty's been added or if it's being added at the end. We'll find that out later on. But like I said earlier, I said I was going for a great time, but in my heart I knew I was just going for a 120, around a 120 finish, and that happened, so I'm happy. Onwards and upwards for the next one.